Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'll explain to you how you could uh, annotate uh, data using Vision LLM or uh, in other words how you could get those uh, bounding boxes uh, that you could use to uh, use the coordinates from the bounding boxes to visualize um, data which was uh, detected by Vision LLM and this is useful for the solution evaluation and debugging purposes so visually you could track uh, uh, where uh, from where uh, from which area of the page the data is coming and uh, this helps to understand quicker if the data which was extracted by visual llm uh, if this data is correct or not so uh, like you can see in this example i have uh, bonds table and uh, I'm fetching instrument names and valuations. And uh, in the result set, I have uh, instrument name value, uh, which is actual value from the document extracted. Then there's a bounding box uh, with uh, coordinates to describe the box and the confidence uh, calculated by the model. Uh, this means the higher the number is, uh, this means the, the better is the accuracy. Okay, and uh, on on, pay, on uh, actual image on original image we are displaying the box then dis displaying uh, not sure if it's visible here let's uh, zoom a bit more okay it's less so uh, it's we're displaying the field name like an instrument name and actual value and the confidence the same is uh, same. the same for for the evaluation I'm not sure if I can move it anyway the same is for uh, the evaluation field where displaying the field name and uh, uh, value which was extracted and uh, and then the uh, confidence score and this uh, <clears throat> all this data for the box coordinates is coming out of the box from Vision LLM. So I'm not running any extra uh, custom OCR step. It all comes from the Vision LLM and it runs locally uh, on premise. Uh, this specific example runs on my local uh, Mac Mini M4 machine with 64 gigabytes of RAM, and I'm running it on, directly on MLX uh, using the MLX VLM library. Uh, to to be able to interact with the vision LLM locally, right? And uh, this kind of uh, response with uh, bounding box coordinates, it would not come just from any local uh, vision LLM as per my testing. Uh, the best one at the moment is uh, Q12.5 vision LLM, and I'm using um, 72 billion model with four bit quantization. So this model, uh, this is the result of this model. Uh, I was trying to run Q1.2.5 7 billion model with 8 bit continuation. No, um, the bounding box coordinates data was not accurate at all and uh, it's not good. But with the 72 billion uh, and uh, 8 and 4 bit continuation variant, the result is uh, very good and it can be used uh, for production solutions. So now, if you look into the code, uh, we can see here that I'm loading uh, Q12.5 uh, uh, vision uh, language model, 72 billion per meter with 4-bit uh, quantization, as I mentioned. And the main thing is uh, to define uh, system and output prompts correctly for uh, this Q1 model to execute and produce back the uh, bounding box and confidence uh, uh, responses. So in the system message, I'm specifying that you're an expert uh, in extracting text, and I'm uh, explicitly saying that for each item uh, in table, provide separate bounding boxes for each field. All coordinates should be in pixels relative to the original image. And here, uh, for the user message, then I'm specifying that I want to fetch instrument name, and of top type string and then I'm specifying explicitly that uh, bounding box should be returned in this format and confidence the same for the valuation field right and uh, 
then 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 um, it works and I'm able to get uh, coordinates. Uh, this is a simple example, uh, more generic example to be able to work with any set of fields or, uh, um, impl I'm implementing in Sparrow. So this functionality that I'm talking today, it will go into Sparrow and it will be available there as well. I'm planning to uh, allow uh, this annotation or bounding box data calculation when, uh, in those cases, when user is uh, providing specific query to fetch certain set of fields. If user is set, uh, providing star to fetch uh, all fields, uh, all data, then uh, this annotation functionality will not be available in that case because it doesn't make sense. But uh, if uh, a user is fetching a subset of data specific fields, then there will be option also to visualize uh, the annotation and calculate uh, calculate bounding box data. And uh, <clears throat> obviously when you ask model to return this uh, bounding box data, uh, it takes uh, some more time to produce the response because uh, model needs to uh, extract the coordinates and uh, include this uh, data into the result set and produce complete result set with uh, actual values plus uh, this additional metadata, so it takes more time. Right, and then uh, the request to execute uh, this query is uh, running on MLX. Uh, it would be the same kind of the request as with any other request, just using uh, API. Then we're getting the output, and uh, here's the uh, sample code which I'm using to draw boxes, uh, field name, field value, and uh, confidence information on the original page. So I'll not go in detail, it's kind of standard uh, code you'll find uh, when you want to draw boxes on top of the image. And by the way, all this code and the prompt uh, example is uh, stored uh, in GitHub. Uh, URL is below this video. Uh, it's stored in uh, Sparrow uh, project. So you can, you can uh, try it out on yourself. So to try it out, you could simply uh, build uh, environment and uh, run the script directly and uh, you could uh, see how it works on your own uh, local environment. And yeah, it doesn't work uh, uh, with Mistral, for example, or with Gamma models at the moment, but it works well with uh, Q12.572 uh, billion model. And hopefully, when uh, or if uh, Q13 vision model will be released, then performance of the model will be improved and it will run even faster. Uh, so that we could execute inference requests faster when we want to get bounding box coordinates uh, to, to annotate or uh, visualize uh, the response uh, and display it uh, with boxes uh, on, 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 on image. So as soon as we have coordinates uh, from the model for each uh, value returned, then we can use those coordinates to visualize the response on the page. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you find this uh, uh, insight useful and uh, uh, give a star to Sparrow and uh, you can also try Sparrow on uh, sparrow.katanaml.io live instance and you can see how it works and hopefully you'll find it useful for your own use cases. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.